Good morning to you all. My name is King Sauer. Welcome to my new video, which I just made, and it took long time. For God's sake. <sighs> well, I just interviewed some VTubers. I was curious, mostly of color their small communities and their personalities. Curiosity is always like, getting the better of me sometimes. As you watch the video, I hope you enjoy it. As um, I ask uh, many questions, actually eight questions to be exact. How has streaming affected your life? Juggling streaming and school is quite difficult, but other than that, streaming hasn't really affected me that much. Given the pandemic, not much is going on, so streaming is the only thing I'm doing right now. And I'm actually using streaming as a way of socializing. What made you stream in the first place? I was actually just a mod for Mina Streams. Because she usually asked me to play games with her on stream, she pushed me to become a VTuber like her, and since I had lots of time on my hands, I decided, why not? How have regional differences affected your stream? I haven't really thought about regional differences that much, but from my experience, whenever I stream for 24 or close to 24 hours, I meet so much more people from different countries and from there I decided that even though I can speak Tagalog, my main language, um, whenever I'm streaming I would be speaking in English. Um, other than that, it hasn't really affected me that much. Do your parents know and support your stream? Um, my dad is probably too busy to care. My mom knows about my streams and how I'm a VTuber but she doesn't really understand what I do. The only time she stops by my streams is usually when I don't reply to her on Facebook and when she's asking a question. I don't really see them ever supporting me with my passion. To them, everything video game related is just a hobby. Quote your words to the viewers. I just wanted to tell people to chase after their dreams despite what other people say. Aim for your happiness instead of always satisfying others. And life is a marathon, so enjoy the run. And those are the words from X Rain Luck. If I pronounced it right, sorry if I didn't. So, if you want to go to visit his stream, do. I have the link down below. Just click on it and you should go to the stream okay now I'll try to spice things up for now do you know the next streamer that I interviewed was last year was a transgender VTuber who was trying to have a quite a simple and actually quite a fun community to be honest so do note everything is almost uncut and I really won't be cutting anything much welcomes you. Thank you for the follow, Eagle Eyes 102. It's me, Mario! Transright to humanize! Yeah! That is a very good question. streaming last August and Seahorse basically started streaming partially on a whim but partially because I was lonely like COVID is rough I hadn't seen co-workers in at that point it would have been five months almost six months hey Jay Bye, Kiata. Thank you for the hydrate. Thank you for hanging out. The horse loves and appreciates you. Uh, 
um, let's see here. And I started playing like Fortnite with my friend Strobot, and I've been watching Holo Live on YouTube like so many other people that are into VTubing at this point. Um, and And so I just was like, well, I'll try this streaming thing while I play with uh, my friend Scobot. And it kind of like, it was really just like, um, it was uh, really slow at first. And I, you know, I was playing Fortnite mainly. Uh, Scobot and I just have a, it's just fun, uh, and, ah, no, no, um, but it was slow, uh, Fortnite's a really hard game to surface in, so I didn't really get any people following me or like watching me or anything like that for a long time uh, but I've been marking myself as LGBTQIA plus uh, the whole time because I am I'm LGBTQIA plus I'm a non-binary person yeah. I've struggled with my gender identity for a long time honestly I still struggle with it and that's another part of why I started streaming uh, especially VTubing because VTubing gives me a way to experience essentially like another identity uh, in a mostly safe environment as yeah. much as twitch can be anyway and uh, eventually I had someone find me completely random and it turned out they were struggling with um, their identity and the feeling of being able to like help another person with something like that was I guess powerful I mean I kind of thought like hey maybe maybe Seahorse would help someone but I don't know that I really thought it would actually happen uh, so when it did happen, it was kind of weird, but then the person kept coming back and they asked, you know, some more questions and we got closer and closer and then that kind of propelled me forward more. And then I eventually met, or I eventually made a Twitter, which it turns out, unlike Twitter in every other sense, VTuber Twitter is actually really chill like really really chill and nice and pleasant uh, and made a couple friends and then made more friends and then made more friends and then once I made more friends I started to surface and then like Mix. then I started to know notice like country differences because I stream at Pacific time and it turns out Pacific time overlaps a lot with European times and Asian times. So I was starting to meet people in Korea, in Japan, in uh, Russia. Um, where else was I finding people? But, um, and I started to have people come in that either spoke very little English or spoke no English. And that was, um, but still wanted to stay and hang out just because they liked what I was doing. I couldn't communicate with them, so I don't know what specifically, but um, it, it was a thing. That continues to happen too. Uh, but, uh, Versus audience continues to expand, and Seavers is still blown away at the fact that, like, I'm over 700 followers. Like, I'm, I, I don't. I always say this, and I always feel like really, really generic saying this, but I didn't. I didn't think that I'd ever get like 
this far, this many people would follow me or anything like that. Like, I just didn't. I didn't really think it would ever go anywhere. Let alone that I'd be at this point, uh, yeah. where I'm, like, honestly Never considering, like, trying to make VTubing, uh, I guess, like, an actual career. Um, but I really enjoy it and it plays to my strengths and I like meeting everybody and spending time with you and all of that kind of stuff. Um, do my parents know? No. Uh, my dad is unfortunately no longer with us and I, what's the term? I removed my mother from my life. So I have no contact with either of my parents. <clears throat> the case that I heard about in... <sighs> okay, so earlier there was a question of have I thought to ask uh, to apply to for Hololive second generation and second generation and the answer is like yes I thought about applying I almost applied to the first Niji Sanji uh, English generation but during the questionnaire I started to look at things and some of the questions were very specific and one of them was what do you intend to achieve by your streams and I didn't really have a good answer. Um, because, like, my general answer is that, like, I want to provide... I hate using this term, but basically a safe place or, like, a laid-back place for people to come and just... I, I... Image selected. Seahorse uses this a lot, but just come and exist. Like, you don't have to think, you don't have to do anything. You can just be here, and hopefully Seahorse provides some form of comfort. And I guess the other thing is to actively help people. Um, because, like, the Seahorse and the Streamhorse and extended communities have now raised over $5,000 for... Um, and lifeline, and I continue to raise money for them and look for more charities and other ways to help within spaces of mental health and LGBTQIA plus causes. Um, and so I've got... Uh, yeah, exactly, which is like, that's really cool and all, but that's not the kind of thing that Holo Live and Niji Sanji are looking for. Because the things that I'm doing are essentially overly political for a group like that. And they want somebody that's a straight up entertainer. And I like being entertaining, and I like doing quote stupid things like, It's me, Mario! Hello! Uh, like impressions and things like that, but that's not... That's not the same as being an entertainer. Um, I've also really enjoyed spreading like, independent music and just, I guess, trying to expand people's horizons in my own way. Here we are. Also, really enjoyed helping um, people get off the ground with VTubing. Because it's, it's, the English VTuber scene is very community focused. It's really interesting. Because um, oh, so it's, it's weird too, because it feels, because uh, it, it doesn't necessarily feel like a fandom yet. I think that's where we're kind of moving towards. But right now it still feels kind of more like, a collection of creators, um, but far more connected than I would normally expect. Some of that's just because we're all connecting through Twitter and through Twitch and through global communication, so there's much less boundaries involved. But it feels like something like a small music scene or like an art scene or something like that and just with a ton of people in it. Yeah, and uh... Yes, we should. 
shall. No, I'll, we shall. Oh, thank you for that, Elder Bowles. Really appreciate that. The book is housed. TA, he lost seahorse quotes selected. I'm making a quote. Uh. I, it, fuck. Yeah, like, it's the thing of, like, most of the good stuff that I have with just happens accidentally. Everything's a happy accident. There's a quote, everything's a happy accident. I don't know. Thank you.